Well, you've bloody well done it this time. This is all your fault. Instead of this week's episode of Weekly Wobs, you've clearly just driven me off the deep end because none of you are hitting the like button on our bloody videos. I can't stress enough to you guys, the YouTube algorithm fucking sucks. I need your help to beat that stupid thing into submission to get as many of these awesome tunes and awesome vids onto as many feeds as possible. So for the love of God, spank that like button or you're gonna get more cooked videos like this out of me. So in the middle of those countless comments asking me for the intro track of Weekly Wobs, which you'd know what it is if you watch the first episode of Weekly Wobs, hint, hint, there were a couple of legends who noticed that I dropped a cheeky Warhammer reference in the last video because I've been clearly going insane and diving deeper and deeper into the world of Warhammer 40k, much like I did when I was 10 years old when I last played the game. I feel like I'm grounded, I can't go out to the pub, and I'm stuck here inside painting miniatures. So for the two people who understand these references in the comments, I hope you enjoy the video. And for everyone else, I hope you enjoy these pink sunnies because that might be all you understand for the next few minutes. Now first up we've got the Space Marines, or as they're known now, the Adeptus Astartes, the poster boys of the 40k universe. They fight for what's righteous, for what's good and just, and they're basically the same as euphoric hard style. It's uplifting. It gives you strength. In fact, some of the battle cries might as well be MC villain speeches on the red stage at DEF CON, inspiring the weekend warriors to charge into battle once more. Not even kidding, I'll show you what I mean. You are the Space Marines. You are the Emperor's finest soldiers. Each of you knows your duties and your places in battle. Though the adept who stands next to you may bear the insignia of another chapter, may diverge from another codex, or perhaps cling closely to it, he is your brother. Set aside your differences and remember that we are all united in service to the Emperor and the Imperium. This is a Q-Dance event. Then of course, on the other side of the coin of euphoric hardstyle and uplifting vibes, we've got raw hardstyle, the filthy beats, the chaotic melodies, the darkness from within. That's raw hardstyle and the chaos space marines. If you basically look at Warface and Radical Redemption, you can't tell me that those two aren't fucking chaos space marine commanders already. Similar to the chaos marines, but more like their disgusting cousin, we have the Death Guard. Warriors of plague and disease and death and things that are just disgusting. Exactly like up-tempo hardcore. They pray to the plague god Nurgle. In fact, it's basically just the peep crowd praying to GPF and just lauding anything that they put out these days with its disgusting, poorly produced peep kicks and trashy, rushed builds of tracks. Say what you will, the elitists from the old days will say that the Death Guard, that the up-tempo hardcore fans are just too disgusting to even have a place on the electronic dance music spectrum. But then those who love chucking fat hacks quite like the disgusting Death Guard and their accompanying up-tempo hardcore tunes. The Orcs are simple-minded gym bros who love to yell, scream, muck around, lift weights probably. They're basically the Stereosonic crowd or the EDC crowd. Your mainstream garbage EDM boys, broskies, that's the Orcs. Their music of choice? Naturally, Big Room House. Orc technology is crude, it's poorly put together, it's often just kind of mixed and matched with whatever they can find lying around to make their guns, their ammo, and their close combat weapons. It's much like a big room house track that just kind of looks around the garden shed, finds whatever it can, and then chucks it together, puts one synth in there, and calls it a track. That's basically the Orcs, I've got no doubt that they'd be pumping Dimitri Vegas and like Mike on the way into battle, blasting out all their tanks. But whilst we're on the styles of EDM that to some are a little bit basic, we've got to look at the faction in 40k that is the most basic. Quite literally, just the fucking army if they were fighting in outer space. That's the Imperial Guard, or as the Zoomers will call them, the Astra Militarum. 
So if we're dealing with the easiest to understand and comprehend 40K race, what's the genre of electronic dance music that is so simple that a 12 year old will have the same reaction to someone in their mid 20s in a crappy club dancing to that same song? You know what it is, it's deep house. A 12 year old will love it, your grandmother will love it. There's really nothing special about it. It's basically Dua Lipa's amazing voice with a donk behind it. It's like the Imperial Guard. It's nothing special, but it gets the job done. The craft world elder were once a vast, powerful race that extended their reach across the galaxy. But were it not for a terrible event brought about by their own complacency in some respects, that they are now down to very few number and scattered to the far reaches of the galaxy. Much like trance music across our globe. The golden age of trance in the early noughties with the likes of Farseer Armin van Buren and his noble warlocks in support above and beyond, cranking out banger after banger. It's an age gone by, some think that it will never come back. The golden age of trance, much like the golden age of the craft world Eldar. Will we ever rediscover it? Probably not. Now the other side of the coin for the terrible event that destroyed the Eldar were a whole bunch of people in their race sick of the complacency that had now crept into their culture and they wanted to feel something again. They wanted to feel passion, desire, even pain. Now these are the Dark Eldar or the Drukhari that sought that at any cost. Now what does that remind you of? Someone who is a little bit off their head and they'll do anything just to get a little taste, a little hit of something that feels good. It's a friggin' hippie at a bush doof listening to Psytrance. If you listen to Psytrance for too long, it actually feels like the fucking vibrations are just penetrating your skull like some BDSM dark elder weird ass model that's whipping the shit out of you non-stop. And I'll tell you what, when you move into the realms of dark sci and high tech, Holy hell does shit get real hectic. It gets fast, it gets furious, and that's the Dark Eldar to a T. Now speaking of things that are a little bit messed up, the Chaos Demons, some of the most artistically weird and wonderful models and factions of the 40K universe. Now, what's a genre of music that is basically straight from the depths of hell? It's Terracore, it's 100% Terracore. Speedcore, chuck that in there too. It's too fast for most people. They honestly, it blows their mind. Fucking look at Noise Kick's head. Is he not a fucking chaos demon? Tell me he's not a chaos demon. And if you've never heard of Noise Kick, if you're here for the first time, why don't you just sit down, have a nice relaxing bath, grab your speaker, and then put some Noise Kick on. And then if you fucking don't like it, just put the speaker in the bath. There's one genre of EDM that just won't die. People have been saying dubstep's dead for years, but it keeps coming back. It's still around. You've got some weird wobbly bass shit with a new rebirth of sad boy stuff over the top, and it's still alive and kicking, just like the Necrons, the fucking spooky, scary skeletons of the 40K universe that just won't die. And if you have a look into the lore of the Necrons, you'll see that they traded away their freedom and their own skin in the quest for immortality. But the overlords that they traded it to betrayed them and they became slaves. So whilst we've got the kind of wobbly base, hard mechanical side of the Necrons, yeah, there's a bit of a sad story there too, perhaps, depending on the way you look at it. In fact, eternal life would be pretty sad if you've got no one to spend it with. It's almost like the lyrics to an Elenium track. Copyright, don't, don't steal that, son. Necron, sad boy step. That's the next genre, it's the next rebirth of dubstep, if you will. The Tyranids are a relentless race of bugs that march towards the end of time, eating, consuming, devouring anything that's in their path, leaving planets in their wake. You know what else has a relentless march towards the end of time kind of vibe? Techno. Techno is relentless. Have you listened to this shit? Have you been in a Berlin club that has just played the one track on repeat for 12 hours from fucking sundown to sun up and people don't care. They think it's amazing. They think it's the best fucking night of their lives. 
That's exactly the same as the Tyranids' philosophy on war. Send billions of the same thing out into the universe and it doesn't matter, that will get the job done. It's the same beat over and over, just pounding into your skull. Nothing you can do about it. It's one Tyranid warrior after another, chasing you down, eating your brain. All of a sudden you're listening to music that's just basically the click of a stove. You love it. It's called minimal techno. You're losing your mind, but you don't want to listen to anything else. Anything else is too many instruments, too many vocals, too many beats. You haven't heard a single vocal since 2006, but you don't care. You love it. Your entire brain, your entire synapse is just hive mind, Nina Kravitz telling you that this is the techno beat. You love this shit. March to the end of time. Infect as many people as you can with your techno beats or just fucking eat them. That's, that works too. Then we have the Gene Stealers, a weird human Tyranid hybrid thing that worships the Tyranids as gods and they mix and match shit from all over the place, experiment, come up with weird stuff. What do you got? You've basically got crossbreed or industrial hardcore. The Gene Stealers make one of the hardest to produce, hardest to listen to genres out there in the EDM universe. But those who appreciate it have a higher sense, a higher taste, something that just doesn't come easily or naturally to people across the globe. They can listen to a series of construction sounds contained in an industrial hardcore song and go, hmm, that's actually not half bad. Meanwhile, they have this reverence of elitist music. Nothing else will be listened to if it has more than 10 plays on a SoundCloud thread. I don't want to hear that shit. I want to hear the most underground, dark, dirty bass lines you have out there. Anything else is not good enough for my Gene Stealer cult. The Imperial Knights are a really cool faction that not many people have heard of. They sure as hell weren't around when I was playing 15 odd years ago, but they actually do a pretty good job and they are competitive on the battlefield. Tell you what, it kind of reminds me of drum and bass. It's been around, it's good stuff, it's great to listen to. No one's fucking heard of it. Who listens to drum and bass? This is the three guys who go to the bass club in your city. There's a headliner there maybe once every eight years. Frenchcore is basically the Harlequins. They're an offshoot of the Eldar Craft World race and they're just a little bit more colorful and theatrical and fast, but also kind of light and fluffy compared to their dark Eldar counterparts. And that is 100% French core. It's basically describing every single Sefer track that has ever been made. Think about it, he's up on stage, he's playing the piano, it's a fucking performance. It's not just a DJ set anymore. Little talented son, oh, I'm so proud. Happy Hardcore just wants everyone to get along. They wanna unite everyone under the banner of Pleur. Peace, love, unity, respect. Translation, the greater good. They're the Tau. They're basically the rave mums of the scene. They'll adopt anyone and everyone into their faction. Look after them, feed them, clothe them, show them around, show them how everything works at a rave. Much like the Tau adopt the Crute, adopt the Vespids. They'll bring on anyone, doesn't matter how fucked up and weird you look, you're all part of the crew. But Unfortunately, their message gets a little bit lost in translation. The harder factions don't like them. They don't understand the Tau, just like people don't understand Happy Hardcore. It just wants to be there. It just wants to have fun. But the fan base at this stage is scattered a little bit far and wide, much like the Tau Empire. Who knows, will they unite? Will they mount a successful challenge back into the EDM scene? Only time will tell. Our spacey mechanical boys of the 40K universe are the Adeptus Mechanicus blasting around the universe, fixing engines and shit with synth wave blasting in the background. Just night drive vibes out there into the universe. They're basically Blade Runner coming to life, robots, androids, humans fusing together, creating some synthesized beats and lo-fi vibes. The Sisters of Battle are described as a fanatical race of women who will fight for the God Emperor at all costs. These are basically the three girls at any event in fat pants who worship hard trance. They've been there since the dawn of time, shuffling to their shoes are scuffed, and they love it. They are so devout to the hard trance genre, they will espouse it with absolute fervor, much like the Sisters of Battle will. Finally, we have the cursed music genre, trap music. Naturally, they're the Thousand Sons. 
remorseless, cursed. Tragedy and fate conspired to drive the most psychically gifted of the Space Marine Legions into the clutches of chaos. They became an enemy of the Imperium like no other. The path of damnation for the Thousand Sons was longer than most. Much like listening to a trap music set that feels like it will never fucking end. I hope you enjoyed that trip down Insanity Lane with me everyone. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, share it around, leave a dank comment. I love reading them all, especially the ones that say that you haven't watched other episodes on the channel. But that's okay, remember Weekly Wobs is linked in the description below. And if you enjoyed this, make sure you share it with one of your mates who loves electronic dance music or share it with one of your mates who loves Warhammer 40K. If you wanna see more cooked videos on the channel, hit that subscribe button and let me know. I'll make them for you. they will get more weird and wonderful, I promise. Who knows, might even end up having a look at some of my old miniatures. For those of you genuinely interested though in the Warhammer 40K universe, I highly recommend Midwinter Minis that reintroduced me into how to play the actual game and they've got a couple of really good tutorials on the channel. Also the likes of Squidmar Miniatures. He's a fantastic bloke who just tells you how to paint like a fucking legend. Well done, mate. And Friendly Geordies, I know that you've got some weird Warhammer 40K following uh, and you do like political satire every now and then on the side. Check him out. I'll see you next time, everyone. Stay skits, stay safe, muzz it up, slendy out.